Hey everybody, today I'm going to be doing an unboxing and first impressions kind of a review of the mini perler beads. One of my previous videos is actually a haul that includes all these perler beads plus a bunch of regular sized perler beads. So if you want to check that out, I'll have that linked in the iCard. So without further ado, let's just get right into these. Okay, so this first kit, I don't know what it's called. Uh, the Neutral Colors Mini Bead Tray. So in here we have a peachish type color, a beige type color, brown and dark brown, and then we have gray and clear. I didn't even know they made clear mini beads, so this is super cool. And then white and black. And then the next one is the Cool Colors Mini Bead Tray. This one comes with a lightish blue, kind of a super light turquoise teal color, medium blue, dark blue, light purple, dark purple, dark green, white, and black. The next tray here is the Warm Colors Mini Bead Tray, and it just has red, orange, a lighter, orange, like a kind of neon orange yellow color, yellow, pink, purple, white, and black. It is so insane how tiny these beads are. I've seen them in the stores and stuff, but I've never actually bought any of them. But like, I haven't been to the store in a while, you know, because of the pandemic and everything. So I forgot how tiny these things are and they're just so tiny and cute and I am so obsessed with them. Something that's gonna be interesting is trying to iron them because I honestly struggle ironing the big ones. Like I always knock the beads over. So I bet this will be super interesting. So this is the Rainbow Colors mini bead tray and it just has red, orange, yellow, green, a lightish blue color, dark blue, purple, and white. And then the next two things I got are these packs of mini beads. I just got white and black because I know I'm gonna go through white and black like there's no tomorrow. So I made sure to get two extra packages of those, which these I'm not going to open up because I'm going to use up all of the beads in the bead trays before I break into these. And then I got this little kit that's four mini transparent pegboards. I really love when these types of packages open up really easily. <laughs> so here is the ironing paper and the instructions. I love how everything about these are mini, even their instructions. So this is what these look like. These are so tiny. And these are the ones that do fit together, so that's cool. And then the next thing I got is the Perler Bead Tweezers. I was super excited to get these because I think I can probably just use them with the regular Perler Beads too. And I know that it's definitely going to be hard to use these beads because they are so tiny. These feel really cool. They honestly just feel like seed beads. And I feel like they basically are seed beads. They're just meltable seed beads that are more of the tube shaped ones rather than being the little round beads. So I think is what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go ahead and take the tape off of all of these trays and then I'm going to make some stuff. Okay, so I just took all the tape off of these packages. Now I'm actually going to make some stuff. So I'm not going to talk while I'm making this stuff. I just want to make it, but I'll do a time lapse. I went on Pinterest and I found a few different designs I wanna try. So I took pictures of them because I have Pinterest on my computer. So I took a picture of my computer with my phone so that's why the pictures are kind of not the best so i have this old 21 pilots there's this 21 pilots logo a jellyfish from spongebob candy a milk carton this like hand and a yin yang sign so i'm going to be following those and just making some stuff
Okay, so now I'm going to iron all of these. I'm gonna do that off camera just because whenever I film myself ironing perler beads, I always mess them up and I feel like I might mess these up because they are so tiny and I feel like it's gonna be kind of hard to iron these. But anyways, I'm just going to iron those and then I will be back to show you guys what they look like when they are done being ironed. Okay, so it's a few days later now and I've done a few different projects and I've ironed everything. So now on to my final thoughts, the conclusion for the mini perler beads. The first thing I'll say is if you plan on getting mini perler beads, get the tweezers. If you don't have the tweezers, it's going to be super hard to make anything. So first and foremost, I recommend getting the tweezers if you plan on doing mini perler bead things. But overall, I am very happy with how all of this stuff turned out. I'm going to make some necklaces out of this and then these three are going to be on a necklace. I even put some mini perler beads in these little mini jars. I'm gonna turn those into something and I'll do a tutorial for those. So those will be on my channel in the future. But yeah, I really love these. I highly recommend them. They're a lot easier to melt than I thought they would be. Like they don't fall over a lot. One thing I will say is though, is when you're ironing them, if you like kind of move the iron over so that you can see your projects, they won't look melted. And then you put the iron back over it for like five seconds and then it's melted all the way down to the pegboard. So that is one thing that I'll say about these is be careful when you're ironing them, but is what I recommend is iron them just enough so that they stick together and then take them off of the pegboard and then iron them some more so that you don't accidentally melt your pegboard, but then you can still melt them down. Uh, I had a few of these curl up. So so what I did is I just went over them with the iron again and then put some heavy books on them for a few minutes and that made them flat so that was really nice and they do make pretty sturdy little things I mean they're some of the bigger ones are kind of bendy uh, this is like super sturdy though and honestly I really like these I really think that these are super great I might even buy more of these and focus more on these than regular perler beads just because I love how tiny these are so I can make all kinds of different cool projects with them you know I can make earrings necklaces all kinds of stuff since these do make such small little things this is one of my favorite things that I made and I guess this is kind of like a sneak peek because I have a, an idea for a Halloween video that has to do with this. So you'll see that in October if I end up filming it, of course. But overall thoughts, just to wrap this up, if you're gonna use mini perler beads, get the tweezers. Be careful when ironing so that you don't melt it down to the pegboard. If they end up being curled up, just Put, run the iron over them real quick and then put something heavy on them for a few minutes. That'll flatten them out. And overall, I give these like a nine out of 10. They'd get 10 out of 10, but it's just because they're a little bit hard to iron. That is why they get one point off, but otherwise nine out of 10, I love them. I highly recommend them. If you are thinking about getting these, I definitely recommend getting them 100%. I love these. Make sure to subscribe to my channel to see different projects that I'm gonna make with these pieces as well as other pieces I'll be making. And if you like perler bead stuff in general, if you like arts, crafts, stuff like that, make sure to subscribe to this channel. Also follow me on Instagram, I'll have it on the screen here. There I just post different behind the scenes, sneak peek, different things like that that have to do with my upcoming videos. I also make several thumbnails for each video and then I let people vote on which one they like and then that will be the thumbnail for the video. So if you want to be a part of this channel and get to help me make decisions about different things like that, make sure to follow my Instagram. And I think that is about it. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.